Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Chrissy. Today I'm gonna do a quick review video about um, some of the Korean skincare products that I have tried or I have a chance uh, to try out uh, in the past six to eight months in my skincare routine. Uh, some of them are more like recent and we have a few products that I have already had in my skincare routine for a while, but I haven't really had a chance to um, really let you know how I think or what I think about the products. So I thought maybe it's a better uh, way to just put all of these products into one video and um, you know, I'll let you know how I think and my experiences after using the products for a few months. Um, my introduction was filmed after I um, finished filming my review. So um, I just realized that I did not e even have an introduction for my video. So that's why you see that my hairstyle and makeup a little bit different from uh, the rest of the video. Uh, but yeah, so um, if you're looking into getting one of these products or you are interested in one of these products, I hope that this video will be helpful to you. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. First, I have the rice toner and the mugwort essence uh, by the brand I'm from. Uh, both products are very hydrating and liquidity. Uh, their texture is absolutely perfect for layering. I have made a separate video um, to you know provide a thorough review of um, these two products together uh, by the brand I'm from. So if you haven't watched it, I will leave the link in the description box below and you uh, please go ahead and check it out um, uh, later. Uh, this is the first time that I have incorporated mugwort into my skincare uh, routine and I really enjoy it. Um, especially when it comes to soothing skin sensitivities. Um, I am actually interested as well in trying fermented mugwort as compared to the mugwort essence uh, by M. Fromm. Um, I just want to see how the fermented mugwort is different from the mugwort essence. So then um, I am eyeing the Misha Time Revolution Artemisia Treatment Essence. So if you guys are also interested in, uh, you know, how the fermented mugwort um, is different as compared to this mugwort essence, then please let me know. Uh, probably I may be able to do a comparison video for you guys between um, the, these two mugwort essence. Next, we have I'm um, from Honey Mask and uh, Mugwort Mask. Um, here, I only have the mini version of these two products with me because um, I wanted to try them out and I did not know which one I should get. So I decided to get them both at a, um, in the mini version. Um, after I heard so many great reviews about this. So um, it was tough for me to choose between these two. So I got both in the mini version to try them out. I will insert the pictures of the full size products um, here, maybe on the screen for you to see. Uh, just so you know, uh, full size products come with a small spatula for application. Um, these two are um, facial, these are, these two are uh, wash off facial masks recommended to leave on for about 5 to 15 minutes. I generally leave it on for about 20 minutes. Um, the mugwort mask is actually um, a gel-like consistency and has a very strong earthy um, herbal scent um, as compared to the mugwort essence, the essence here, same line. Um, but then the mugwort essence has much less strong uh, scent of the uh, mugwort as compared to the mask. Um, you will see um, you will see a bit of grout mugwort in the product, uh, which will or which may look like wet soil on on the face. So I'm just gonna show you quickly um, the texture on how the products look. This is the mugwort mask by Amfram. Um, the mask give you the mask give you a very cooling, refreshing, and um, instantly calming feelings. Um, so this is how it uh, is being spread out. Uh, it's a very gel-like, thin texture um, consistency, but like I said, it has um, some 
bit of crowned mugwort uh, it's gonna leave your skin looks like this when you have it on it looks a little bit like wet soy on the face um, honestly i prefer um, using the uh, mugwort essence as compared to the mugwort mask because um, it requires less work to obtain the similar results i just don't like um i just don't like cleaning my sink and or my shower um, due to bits of ground mugwort all over the place after using the mask Unlike the mugwort mask giving you the feeling of refreshing and cooling, the honey mask um, feels warm and gooey. It has a kind of creamy texture and glides right onto the skin. Um, I'm going to show you quickly how the honey mask looks like. Um, I do believe that you've got to shake it up. Uh, or mix it a little bit before you actually apply on the skin. So this is how the um, honey mask feel lies. So like I said, it has a kind of um, creamy texture and glides right onto your skin and it's very easy to spread out. Um, it does feel a little bit sticky um, to the touch and uh, it does take a little bit of effort to uh, rinse off. Um, my skin feels soft, hydrated and very bouncy after first use. Um, it definitely helps with dryness and um, tight skin feeling. Um, if I had to choose between the two, I would probably go for the honey mask um, because um, I don't know. I just feel like I enjoy the texture better and I don't, I don't like the, um, the, the mess. Uh, from the from using the mugwort mask even though this mask is very good for summertime and honey mask I do believe it is perfect for winter time um, if you cannot stand the scent of natural honey the honey mask this is not for you because the scent of honey is very strong in this product however keep in mind that um, both products are very good and 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 great for people with sensitive skin uh, so that is not something that you need to worry about it's just about the scent uh, whether you can stand the scent of the honey or not and with the mugwort it smells like grass it smells like earthy very herbal scent so that, that those are the, the, the difference in those two uh, masks of course beside the functions and how it works and, and what skin concern that it target as well so now let's move on the next product that I am going to talk about. This is a ginseng serum by the brand I'm from. And um, well, I didn't realize that we have so many products from the same brand in this video. I should have dedicated one video for all of these products from the same brand. But um, anyway, if you have watched my you know previous video about skincare that I have used for years but I no longer use, you probably already knew that I was a big fan of the Suasu Ginseng Cream. And I love the scent of that cream and was religiously using it for years until my skin got so used to it and the cream became less effective and therefore I stopped using the cream and now when it comes to this ginseng cream because I already used and love the scent of the ginseng cream I had um, a certain expectation for how ginseng uh, should smell like uh, but this, this ginseng serum um, it smelled very strong um, it smells very strong, but nothing like a pleasant ginseng scent. Uh, it's, it has a very strong perfumery scent, um, which which is quite mature light. It's unpleasant and it's not a scent favored by uh, young ladies that I, I yeah. I'll put it that way. And um, even though this serum uh, absorbs really fast, it does feel a little bit sticky um, on the skin. So it, so this is how it looks like. My bottle, it, I think this one's 30, yeah, so one fluid ounce, uh, 30 milliliters. And this serum contains 7.98% of ginseng extract. I'm gonna show you quickly the texture of the serum on the back of my hand. So as you can see, 
it's not that liquidity um, it's it does have a thin thin texture uh, but it does feel a little bit sticky on my skin um, so after after a application so uh, many people says that uh, many people said that this serum could be a cheaper alternative to the suwasu ginseng serum um, I don't think so. In this particular situation, I believe that we get what we pay for and um, and I know that I cannot expect the quality of $30 price tag to be the same as something retail for $270, which is um, how much of the, which is the price of the Suwasu Ginseng Serum right now on the Sephora website. I do know how Ginseng smell like and I do know that um, maybe ginseng, the way that they process ginseng and the quality of ginseng could give a different scent in the product. Um, however, this smell is, this scent is it's quite a big minus for me. And like I, you can see that it's actually show like, um, like a film or a, a layer on the back of my hand. It feels a little bit sticky and it's like a film on, on, on the skin uh, which i don't really like in my skincare um so yeah so this one it's i'm just gonna use it up and that, that's it it's just for one time try and i will not repurchase it next we have huxley secret of sahara anti-gravity cream this cream is uh, con uh well yeah Chris this cream is made with more than 50 percent of sahara prickly pear seed extract and hyal chronic acid um, so it creates or it helps to support or create a protective uh, moisture uh, barrier uh, to provide long lasting hydration for the skin i have mostly i think i have you can see that it's very well loved uh, i have um almost finished this cream already it comes with a very soft um green color which right now does not show very well because um right now probably you can see it's only white so it is a thick cream i would say um i think it's more suitable for people with dry and mature skin it absorbs really really fast and glides on smoothly as you can see and um, it leaves the skin feeling very nourished it doesn't feel like there's a layer uh, but there is the cream on your skin that's how good it is um i really enjoyed this cream um i think that i was using it up during summer time so probably um it is good for people with extremely dry skin um during summer time and it probably a good cream for people with normal to combination skin to be used um during extremely or in uh, in an extremely dry environment such as Canada, like uh, you know, winter time in Canada, then probably this cream is very good for people with um, normal to combination skin. Um, I do believe that this cream is gonna be quite thick for people uh, with oily skin. Uh, but you know, if you live in a very extreme like if you live in a place with very extreme weather uh, maybe this cream is something that you may want to look into um, even when you have oily skin uh, for people with dry and sensitive skin i do not have any reaction to um to the fragrance it smell like it smell like cactus it's it smell like cactus or grass um it has quite a bit of a scent uh, so if you are easily um, allergic to fragrance or scent maybe you need to uh, test it on your skin first to see if you're actually comfortable with that scent um, for me uh, my skin doesn't react to it and um, i have to say that the scent not gonna go away fast after application it's gonna be uh, there for at least 30 minutes for me until I barely can notice the scent anymore uh, but um, but the cream makes me, my skin feels very nourished and um, I do 
agree with the long lasting hydration effects of this cream. Uh, I do recommend you try out this cream if you have dry um, or mature skin. Uh, if you have sensitive skin, um, maybe you need to test it out before you put it on your face. Uh, but the key ingredient in this cream is the um, certified organic Sahara prickly pear um, seed extract or yeah, oil. Now the next product I would like to talk to you about today is a, a Dr. Charles Ceramidin, Ceramidin Cream. Uh, this cream, the key ingredient is ceramides, which help with the skin moisture barrier and um, you know hydration. Um, this cream has a very, very beautiful texture that I really enjoy. Um, it, it it is on a um, a dense side. It's 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 not thick but it's not as thick as the um, Huxley Sahara of the secret anti-gravity uh, cream but it's still quite dense for a cream uh, however when you try to spread it out it just glides on smoothly and effortlessly um, it creates a very beautiful uh, protective layer uh, to protect your skin and provide hydration, which I have been enjoying a lot lately. Um, I picked it up together as in a set, um, this cream and the body lotion and a sheet mask for the same price as this cream by itself right now, 63 Canadian dollars. So uh, if you are interested in trying this one, I would definitely recommend you to try it out, uh, pick it up during the Silver VIP sale. Uh, if you pay $63 for the cream, then why not getting um, the set? I think it's called Moisture Set uh, for the same price, but you have the body lotion, the ceramidin uh, cream and one sheet mask to try. Um, this cream is recommended for people, you know, experiencing uh, discomfort, roughness, uh, itchiness, dryness, and tight skin feeling. And I totally agree with the claim. Um, it's a beautiful uh, texture, very easy to um, uh, spread out and absorb fast. Uh, which I really like and it keep my skin moistured and hydrated for the whole day, which I really appreciate. Um, I knew about this cream a while ago, but I was hesitant not pick it up until lately when I was low on the um, Huxley cream and I tried it out and I love it. So um, if you have dry skin like me, you probably uh, like this cream as well, especially when, you know, in Alberta, we're having like winter right now and the winter in Alberta, everybody already know it's very extreme. And I do have a high hope that this cream gonna, this cream gonna help me to survive this winter in Canada. Um, one thing that I want to let you know as well, that the cream comes with a little bit of fragrance. So uh, maybe test it out. Uh, before you apply it on your face, but I don't think the fragrance is too strong that's gonna cause you um, skin sensitivities or any irritation. But you know, we always should um, be in the safe side. Now, last but not least, we have a uh, lip slipping mask. Yeah, lips, lip slipping mask. It's from Clavio, Clavio Nourishing Care Lip Slipping Pack. Um, it does come with a vanilla scent which smells so good and the texture of it looks like i don't know um this is what i don't like about this kind of lip slipping mask because you have to dip your finger in there and i do wash my fingers so i'm gonna quickly show you how chloe and um how chloe how yeah how the texture of this uh lip slipping mask look like it's a little bit sticky um is it moisturizing is it hydrating yes um but then there are one thing that i noticed that after i use it the next few days i feel like my lips tend to uh peel off a lot more like peeling off a lot more so i'm not sure if there's something in the formula that my lips don't like or that is how it's supposed to do um this lip slipping mask is um made up with oils from avocado sweet almond and i think something else i forgot um but then it it's contain a lot of oils in here and it's supposed to be very nourishing i do feel that it nourishes my lips uh, it's just that there's something in here that it makes my lips feel peeling off a few days after which i don't understand why um i do use it sometimes as a lip balm as well because of how much i like the scent it's like a vanilla scent um so yeah um if you are interested i would 
recommend you to give it a try um, it's only $13 or something on yes style so it's not like a huge investment um, that you have to think so much that's it for my video and thank you so much for watching until this moment this minute of the video and I do appreciate your patience uh, I know that I have a lot of products to talk about so that's why um, you have to be very patient to be sitting uh, until this point of the video um, if you have any question please leave it you know in the comment down below and I will try my best to get back to you as soon as I can um, in the meantime please take care and stay safe wherever you are and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.